Welcome back to the shop, guys. Guys, take a look at this. What you're looking at is extensive corrosion damage to the computer, the wiring harness, and the frame from battery acid leaking on these components. And it's caused by people using the wrong type of a battery for the C5 Corvette. Right now there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of C5s across the country that are undergoing damage from this battery acid leak. Maybe even your C5. We're gonna talk about this and a whole lot more next. Toys for life. So I know right now a lot of you are probably thinking, how common of a problem is this? And is it really that big of a deal? To answer the first question of how common this is, let me ask you, how many times in your life have you changed a car battery and been surprised at how nasty of condition things were underneath the battery? Let me know in the comments below the nastiest thing you've ever seen. I can tell you that in my lifetime, some of the batteries I've changed, I've had to repair the battery tray because it really wasn't solid enough to hold the battery. Here's a little footage of what some of the batteries out there really look like. Now some of these images might be a little extreme, but if you think back and you're honest with yourself, I'm pretty sure you've seen some of these images before underneath your hood. So why is leaking battery acid so potentially dangerous and catastrophic in a C5 Corvette? Well, it's because for some reason GM decided to put the computer and the main wiring harness directly underneath the battery. Take a look at this footage I have from the Mr. Black 947 YouTube channel, which I highly recommend by the way. Recently, Steve was upgrading his computer to a newer model, so he had to remove and replace his old one. Listen to what Steve has to say about the battery acid leaking on his computer and wiring harness. People talk all the time about uh, lead acid batteries, wet lead acid batteries leaking slowly over the years. This car's only got 32,000 miles on it, and you can see the surface rust on the frame rail. But toys for life, batteries these days are better than that. They don't leak anymore. Really? Take a look at this quick search I did on the Corvette forum, and unfortunately, the thread titles just speak for themselves. So Toys for Life, what if I just roll the dice, drive my car, and see what happens? Unfortunately, the C5 doesn't come with a warning light telling you that the battery is spewing acid all over the place. In the real world, you might get lucky, you might not. If you're one of the unlucky ones, you'll be driving along one day and you'll start getting some funky electrical issues. You take it into the dealership and if you get a good tech, maybe after an hour or two of diagnosing, he'll come back with the diagnosis that you've got a wiring harness issue and then they'll hit you with the estimate. One to six grand is not uncommon. Now that I've hopefully convinced you that the typical car battery is a bad idea for your C5 Corvette, let me give you the good news. The good news is this whole issue can be prevented if you simply replace the leak prone wet lead acid style battery with an absorbed glass mat type battery or AGM for short. An AGM battery has several advantages over a typical lead acid battery but the main thing that we're interested in is that the electrolyte is captured within the glass mat so it makes it virtually impossible for it to leak which makes it the perfect battery for the C5 Corvette, and you can kiss those potential PCM and wiring harness issues goodbye forever. AGM batteries are available in pretty much every brand, including Exide, Die Hard, Duralast, AC Delco. I have a Duracell battery in my C5. I've had it for almost seven years with zero issues whatsoever. So you can get one pretty much anywhere they sell batteries. AGM batteries are going to cost somewhere between $70 and $100 more than a typical lead acid battery. But they typically last longer, perform better, and if you think about the potential rust and corrosion and damage to your wiring harness, it's a no-brainer. You need an AGM for your C5. Speaking of no-brainers, guys, if you found value in this video, please consider taking a second right now Hit that thumbs up below and that subscribe below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, for the final no-brainer. Automotive batteries are known to contain hydrogen. You know, the gas that blew up the Hindenburg. They also contain acid. And if you've had high school chemistry, you probably know where I'm going with this because that's not a very good combination for safety. 
Anytime you mess with your car's battery, before you even think about touching those cables, putting on a battery charger, whatever, at a minimum, put on a pair of safety glasses, better yet, a face shield, a long sleeve shirt, and goggles underneath. Explosions are rare, but every year in the United States, there's at least 2,200 cases of serious injury requiring hospital care. Of those injuries, the majority of them have to do with acid injuries to the eye. I will leave a link in the description below to the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration's report. Now get out there and replace your C5's battery, and thanks for watching.